Hey friends, I want to talk to you about the resurrection. I've been in a little bit of a funk. Normally at this time of year, I have a experience of resurrection life that ministers to my heart and the spring just reinforces it because there's new things percolating up. They're jumping out of the ground and I love it. That's just not my experience this year. And I think it's not because it's not true. I think it's still there, but there's this whole quarantine experience. So what's happening for me and some of my friends, maybe for you as well, is that there's a little bit more of an experience of monotony, things that are difficult, say in the family or in my own heart. I'm now, I don't, I don't have as many outlets. I don't have as many uh, pressure valve releases, so to speak. And so it's, it's, that's difficult, but then there's this monotonous kind of relentless experience of it at the same time. And that's sort of a deadening kind of experience, not what I typically expect. And sometimes it's called boredom. Sometimes it's just like, bah. and uh, that's hard. It's difficult and it's been hard and it's been discouraging for me. And then when we, we hear the, the governor saying he's going to extend through the end of May. I mean, I knew he was probably going to do that, but it just means like, okay, so this is going to go on for even longer. So that's how I, that's the, that, that's the downer aspect of this, but I really want to talk about the resurrection because one of the things that the Lord is showing me just in the last couple of days is that uh, he actually wants to speak even through those things. He actually wants to speak through that, you know, and there's resurrection possibilities hidden in that. The, the artist I came across, his name is uh, Mo Makoto uh, Fujimura, and he practices an art called uh, Nohongu, something like that. And it's just very, very painstaking, uh, speaking of monotonous kind of art form, but it, it's an expression of love for him. They grind down these minerals, um, which are have these beautiful colors, and those turn into paint. And then he does like 50 to 80 layers on a canvas, even before he begins to paint. But what it does is it creates so much depth within that, that the, the two-dimensional flatness, the monotonous flatness of that surface becomes uh, this transparent, translucent, almost like three-dimensional space that shows like resurrection life. And uh, so I was just fascinated as being blessed looking at this art, realizing that it's coming out of something that could just feel kind of dead and it's alive. And then he's speaking in a lecture a couple of years ago about resurrection. He's quoting Wendell Berry and Wendell Berry saying at the end of a poem called Manifesto, the Mad Farmer Liberation Front, which is funny. Um, he's saying practice resurrection. That's what uh, uh, Fujimura is saying to me and to us. And I think it's a great word. Practice resurrection. And uh, there was funny ways that uh, Wendell Berry was putting it. He says, like, so, friends, every day do something that won't compute. Love the Lord. Love the world. Work for nothing. Take all that you have and be poor. <laughs> Take all that you have and be poor. Love someone who does not deserve, deserve it. And I think what I think the Lord wants to do is even in, especially in the midst of the things that seem like unchanging and difficult and maybe even deadening is to show us that in that is the possibility of, of resurrection life. In that is a possibility of a Genesis moment out of dust, like new life being breathed into that. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead, Paul says, is in us and will wants to give life to our mortal bodies. It's that same spirit that Jesus promises that John speaks of welling up within us it's an expression of his love. And it, when it comes up within the gut, you know, like in the bowels of our compassion, just let it flow. A lot of times I keep it tamped down like a, a lid that's stiff. And I feel like he's saying, look, just keep that really loose. And the moment I move in your life to spark something, just go with it and be surprising in a resurrection kind of a way. The other way he's been saying to me is like, put instead of putting irritability, which is my issue, Irritability on a hair trigger, put joy on a hair trigger. Is that possible? That's my prayer. Lord, could you put joy on a hair trigger for me? And could you put me, could you remind me of at the beginning of this time, the things that I was glad for this moment, maybe the creative projects that are difficult and monotonous, that there is a life that you want to draw up out of them. And uh, so that I can practice resurrection. And uh, 
So I think I, I just want to encourage you, look for levity when you're with your family, with your difficult situations, that the Lord might even out of that want to do something surprising. So maybe do something surprising. Look for levity. It's like Abraham and Isaac. Like they feel like their their life is over. Nothing's going to change for the rest of their lives. They're as good as dead, Abraham says. They feel like a bag of bones. And then they do something very simple. They express hospitality and compassion to three visitors who are the manifestation of God, who then says, you're going to have a son. They're like, ha, no way. That's just not true. And they believe it somehow. And they laugh, though. It's ridiculous. It's absurd. And then they have a son. And they name him Isaac, which means laughter. And, you know... There was a surprising levity that the Lord wanted to stir up in them, a resurrection reality that he wanted to bring out of their life that felt as good as dead. And so I think that's my word for you, is just to look for levity, put joy in a hair trigger, and uh, practice resurrection. And I, I think it's written into the flatness that we're feeling even now. It's, um, it's maybe some of the, the budding and the flowering of new life that wants to break forth from some soil. So... I think it'll come to you. Like call up a friend, have two hour conversations with an old friend, just reconnect, go to joy, be surprising. God bless you. Bye.